worn down buildings, not enough street lights, and a rise in homelessness. These are some of the concerns coming from residents and business owners in old Colorado City. Now they're working together to come up with a solution and they're hoping voters will help if it ends up on the ballot this November. Known for its quaint streets and local storefronts. I quickly fell in love with this district. Old Colorado City is like home for Adam Steppen. And our hearts are here. He's owned this game store on Colorado Avenue since 2020. But recently, he and other small business owners say they have growing concerns about the area. Oh, there's so many. The buildings are very worn down. We have homelessness, you know, and all the things that sort of carry with that, right, of security concerns, vandalism breaking and entering theft. The Old Colorado City Partnership is now putting forward a solution by proposing a special taxing district in the area to fund improvements. Part of the plan includes raising property taxes for residents and commercial property owners along Colorado Avenue. The OCC Partnership says it would be an average increase of $136 per year for residents and an average increase of $686 for commercial owners. It is probably the most you'll ever see a group of people directly advocating for their taxes to be increased because we see the point, we see the purpose. The plan also creates a board of leaders to oversee the money brought in. Steppen says he'd like to see the revenue go toward fixing worn down buildings and increasing public safety. Our roads, our sidewalks, our lighting, our general security situation, a lot of it is fixed with money. While he says most businesses and residents are on board, there are some who say raising taxes is not the solution. People are struggling financially and it's and it's you can you can feel it everywhere you go. If approved by city council, voters will have the ultimate say on November's ballot. There's no way that anybody can afford these types of capital improvements on their own from a private development standpoint. The Colorado Springs City Council has to have a second vote on the taxing district. We'll let you know when that happens. In studio, I'm Maggie Bryan, News 5.